To access the Enterprise Portal, click on Enterprise Portal at the bottom left corner of the page. If you have multiple companies, your MSP and other managed companies, you will have to select which portal you wish to access. From this page, you will also be able to create a new team by clicking on Add Company. Each MSP account is identified with an MSP green badge next to the company's name. If you only have one enterprise account, you will be immediately redirected to the portal. Once you're inside the MSP portal, here are the different sections and tabs you will have access to. By default, you will be directed to the MSP Vault. This is the section where you can access all of your MSP's items which include passwords, payment cards, and secure notes. From there, you can edit, add, and delete items. In the MSP Users section, it includes all the users that you have invited to join your MSP company. This is where you can invite, edit, and remove users that are a part of your MSP. The Manage Company section is where you can view the different clients you have onboarded to the Mikey portal. From here, you can access existing Manage Company's portals and or onboard new clients. In the MSP Group section, you can find the list of all the groups in your portal. An MSP group is a set of people who have joint interests, goals, or roles. A group can be devoted to a particular function, technology, application, or corporation. Mikey admins can create user groups and add users to these groups. For example, you can add all your marketing team to the same group, as well as items, item folders, and security policies, which can then be assigned to these groups in bulk, which will result in having every user in the group be affected by the assignment. In the MSP item folder section, you can find the list of the item folders in your portal. Item folders are a collection of items that are made of the same type. For example, network switches. Creating MSP item folders simplifies sharing access in bulk and applying security policies. The MSP security policy section includes all policies you have created in your portal. A security policy is an adaptive behavioral constraint that you can apply to users, items, and groups. It enforces additional security mechanisms on your organization. These security policies include location-based rules, time-based rules, and IP-based rules. The real-time dashboard allows you to view in real-time which user is using what item and in what location. In the MSP reporting section, you'll be able to access different types of reports equipping you with insights on your MSP and your client's security score, login behavior, audit logs, and more. From the Integrations section, you'll be able to sync companies, users, groups, and our passwords that you wish to move to your Mikey account using our different RMM and PSA integrations. The Labs section is where you'll find our experimental features that have not yet made it to the permanent release of the app. It's an opportunity for us to try different features and gather your feedback firsthand. In the Enterprise Portal settings, you can access different information and functionalities around company information, plans and billing, account exporting, and more. Under the Settings button, you will find our Import Wizard, which allows you to choose your import method of choice across companies, users, passwords, groups, and folders. To quickly get started, use the Import Wizard to migrate your information and data and set up your account. In the top navigation bar, you will find multiple functionalities that you can avail. The Mikey Power Bar can help you find any resources located in the Mikey portal. It allows you to execute advanced commands in an agile manner. Just type backslash to launch the commands tab. Here you can also find the quick share button, from which you can quickly share items with users, with groups, or even add them to a folder. The license counter at the top right of your portal will highlight the number of licenses that you have assigned, versus the number of licenses purchased. Your company name button allows you to see the different companies that you have access to. From here, you can select the company's portal that you'd wish to be redirected to. Your device name button allows you to add a company, log out, or switch companies. A drop-down list will appear with the different options. Now, you're all set up to start using the Mikey Enterprise Portal using the desktop app.